What up, YouTube? It's your boy Anubis, and guess what? Let me zoom in. <laughs> nah. Alright, so. Yeah, as y'all can see. Bam. Wait. I don't know if y'all can see that. But. My counselor from Job Corp sent me some more information about Job Corp. So. I'm going through one in Brunswick, Brunswick Job Corp Center. So, yeah. Mill Games, home of Eagles Pride. So, I hope they have a football team. You know? uh, I'm going to go to stuff that that, that, uh, that they sent me. The, sorry, well, the stuff that she sent me that I can and cannot bring. Because I looked on here. I looked on here at some stuff and I was like, yo, I can't, I can't bring some of this stuff that I was wanted to bring. But I mean, ain't no big deal, bro. Shame, bro. All right, so it says, I'm going to read the part where it says, when you arrive, my phone is at 15%. But I don't give a fuck. All right, so it says for when you arrive, your admissions counselor will contact you in a few days prior to your arrival to provide you with all your travel information arrangements and instructions if you arrive by bus or plane go to the baggage claim period for your flight or bus. There will be Brunswick Job Corps student ambassador waiting to assist you with your luggage to the center vehicle. If you are being transported if you are being transported to the center by family or friends, we ask that you arrive at the four o'clock PM. You know, if possible, upon your arrival, security will check your belongings at Brunswick Job Corps. And student ambassadors will assist you with signing in and getting your luggage to the career preparation area. So it says, we have zero tolerance for policy for drugs and violence. This is a non-smoking facility. No tobacco products, e cigs and etc are allowed on camp on campus. So let me see. I'm in a bad spot right now because I should have sat in that chair, bro. But who cares? So it says what not to bring. It says TV a VCR DVD players and then like this is the worst part but this is like this is the main part. Like this is what I wanted. To play with my family, you know? And my friends. It says no video game stations. No Xbox. Look how they put look how they put Xbox up there. Hold up. Bro, look how they put Xbox. They put X dash box. Like, come on, bro. No laptop, etc. No microwaves, refrigerators, stereos, alarm clocks, we'll see or cassette player. Electric blankets. What is it? What is an electric blanket? I don't get it. Okay, so, uh, hot plates. The heck is hot plates? Hold on, let me see if I can move my camera down here. I I somewhat got it in a better spot. I hope. Like, I, come on. So it says crock pot. So who gonna bring a crock pot to y'all court? Like, come on. And it says. Weapons, no tasers, drugs, or alcohol. And it says, no. Cell phones are allowed for use during non-business hours and should be turned off and out of sight in the classroom. So, obviously, I already know that. If cell phone, if cell and camera phone is utilized in an unprofessional, in a, no, in an unprofessional manner, it will be taken and shipped home at the student's expense. Cell and dash camera, dash camera. Phones may be utilized outside the classroom during break time. And it says the things you should, things you should bring. <sighs> Let's get to this part. Oh boy. Uh. It says clothes, shirts, shorts, pants, shoes, socks, undergarments, dress pants, 
skirt, ties, shirts, jackets, coats, hat, pajamas, buzz, belt, bathrobe. All right, and it says swim trunks. So I guess they teach you how to swim down there. Swim trunks or swim suit, one piece for water safety training. So that seems like fun because I love the water. My parents swear I don't know how to swim. Like, what the heck? like come on, bro. It's swimming is easy. All you gotta do is just keep yourself up above up, up water and don't panic. That's <sighs> All right, so it says personal hygiene items. What to rank? Soap, lotion, deodorant, shampoo, detergent, no liquid bleach, because I guess they already have that, washcloth, and a towel, clippers, and a hair dryer. So it says, to assist you with your individual career plan, please bring these documents. Original, birth certificate, driver's license, and social security card. Copies, high school diploma, GED, transcripts, immunization, immun immunization. Y'all, it's this word right here. Immuni immunization. <laughs> immunization record. I don't know how to say that. So, next on the other side, it says Job Corps Career offers hands on, hands on training in 11 career technical training. They have for the, like, these are all like the list of the jobs that they give you right here. Like, come on. This is like the all the whole list right here. The whole list of jobs. And I'm gonna call them out to you so you can know like what you wanna do if you wanna come to job for the job court that I'm going to. So it says for the first job, clinical medical assist, the second one, electrical, third, building construction technology. Uh I don't know what that is. Uh certified nursing assistant, HVAC. I picked HVAC for my number one choice that when I signed up for a job court. Uh, landscaping. I like landscaping. That's going to be my second one. I haven't picked that on there because I didn't say it on the paper, so that's going to be my second option for job court. Uh, matter I want to do you work all three jobs, or is this, or is it just like only one that you got to pick? I don't be, I don't know. So it says medical administration assistance, painting. I want to paint. I know how to paint. Uh, plumbing. I'm not doing plumbing. No. Uh, PCT stands for patient care technician. I don't, I think that's like, helping people, I don't know, and security, I don't even know they have security guard, uh, what else, uh, it says dormitories, dorm, 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 I don't read the dorm side, like, what, what they, what they, like, what you did, I see, I see how it is, so it says, we have 315 residential students who live on campus, there is twenty four hour there is twenty four hour a day supervision of the dormitories. Students share a room with other students from very ethnic background ages from sixteen to age twenty four. So I will be in there with probably sixteen year olds and probably some older niggas too. The female dorm rooms accommodate four students per room. The male Oh hey no bro. No bro no 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 Bruh, no way, though. It says the male dorms accommodate anywhere from 8 to 12 students per room, bruh. No. No, bruh. Uh-uh. I need my privacy, bruh. No. Students do not choose their room, roommates, or, dorm or dorms, bruh. Bruh. Oh, my God. <laughs> 8 to 12 students per room? Bro, they tweaking. And the girls, they get... Bro, the girls, they get... How many rooms again? Four students per room? Are you for real? The dudes gotta get eight to twelve in a one room. Eight to twelve to niggas in one room, bro. Oh, my God. All right. So, it says additional information. Daily dorm expectations. All dorms have laundry rooms. Good. One uh, student lounges have big screen TVs and microwaves. Uh, damn. You know what? Look at I'm looking at the picture. Hold on. Uh, and there is a curfew. So, so uh, Monday Tuesdays is uh. Let me see. Hmm. 
Dang, bro. So I do a lot of curfew. Like, they do give us a curfew. <laughs> Dang, bro. So Monday through Thursday is a 9.30 p.m. curfew. That sucks, right? But it's whatever. Because I got... So basically, when I do that, I have to go to a... I have to go to class. And then I have to go to my trade. Like, basically, the trade is like the job that you chose for. So I have to do that. And I have to have enough energy to do all this stuff. So I still have to put it at a 9.30 curfew. I don't care because I go to bed at 9 o'clock sometimes, you know. Uh, Friday and Saturday is 12.30 a.m. Hmm. Not bad. I mean, because I, I sometimes, like, I, so, like, so I say, sometimes I go to bed early and stand up all night. Like, I don't get it. And uh, it says 7 p.m. Wednesday, journal cleanup is formed 7.30 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. Weekends and holidays. Minimum housekeeping required. And I don't know if y'all can see this picture right here. But, like, that's what the dorms look like. You get your own locker. You get your own bed. Like, all that. So, your boy's straight, you me? Look at this V-neck, bro. <laughs> Big nigga out here. Swole, but So, they do. You get your own personal locker. You get your own personal bed. You get all that. So, that's, that's good. Right? Good. All right. So, like I said, good. <laughs> so, all right. Let me chill out. I don't know what happened right now, but ugh, we hear you back. My freaking tripod done flipped over. And let's see. Career Development Services System and 360 Program. Job course provide, provides its students with the guidance and support they need to Lead the team with long-term employment and success through our career development service and system. CDSS courses in independence living, employability, employability skills, and social skills are offered to all job corps students in order to help them make the transition to a workplace. So, I like it so far, but it's just like the fact that you can't have your TV in a game. They're like, come on, bro. Well, Miriam, I mm, it's gonna be a long time before I play a game with you, bro. Cause like they see, I can't have my game, but I can probably come up here and play sometime. Cause I'm gonna, I'm gonna be having the opportunity to come visit my family, so I play with you like that only time. I don't know how long I can be able to stay with her. So it says, uh, like I see, job corps helps high school graduates. Graduates launch their careers. If you haven't graduated from high school, job course can help you earn your diploma. So, like I said, if y'all think I'm dropping out of school, I can still get my high school diploma here at job course. So, it says, if you haven't graduated from high school, job course can help you earn your diploma or your high school diploma. Uh, equivalency credential. And experienced training staff is ready to help you reach your academic goals and a tutoring program is available if you're looking for extra guidance. Job course is committed to supporting the health and well-being of job course students in the areas of disability, food and nutrition, health and wellness, healthy eating and lifestyles, skills, and supporting students with learning disabilities. But I'm not peeping this V-net, but I jumped from like all the way down here, bro. Like I want it to be like right there. Not how far the V-necks come down, but that be like down here. <laughs> be like an ice cream cone. I'm not gonna be funny, bro. Put next on here, anything Uh. <laughs> Let me stop. I don't like making fun. Uh, so, next up. Uh. Yeah. That's about it. That's all I read on that paper. So, let's see, like, the other paper that I got. Alright, so this one right here. Cell phones that work on the center are ATT, Verizon, and Straight Talk from Walmart. Providers that work providers that work when you are off this center are Metro PCS Boost and T Mobile. You will spend the majority of your time on center, so you might want to select a provider that will work all the time. <sighs> There is zero tolerance center. 
zero. They, they put a highlight on this mug. They put zero. Like that's that's the big highlight of the gun, right? Like the big highlight. So that's there is no zero tolerance for no alcohol, drugs, no tasers, no sex toys, weapons, fighting, and smoking. Etc. Bell students are not allowed to wear earrings during the work day. 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. No facial piercings. No facial piercings. Lip ring, eyebrow, ring tongs. <sighs> Who would wear that during the work day? No unnatural hair colors are permitted. Uh, items to bring. Towel, washcloth, soap, lotion, deodorant, bowl, for microwave, detergent. No liquid bleach. Clothes for after the work day. Jacket, bathing suit, toothbrush, toothpaste. No aerosol sprays. I don't know what aerosol is. I I don't. I never used that before, so I don't know. And don't give up. Oh. Uh, oh, this is just the paper, like for my information, like where I can travel. I can't say all this because, like, it's got personal information on here, but. It's like for the people who can go check me out or the facility and stuff like all that. Come visit. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, that's about it. So, oh yeah, let's get more paper here. What this here? That's about it. And now the this one here shows the male one dorm, male two dorm, male three dorm, and female dorm, hall A, B, C, and D. So, no fighting, alcohol, or drugs on center. And yeah, my instructor was Miss Dixon. Yeah, uh, extension. I don't know what that is, but yeah, and I feel. So, that's the end of the video. Uh, if you like the information that I gave you about a job, of course, just hit me up in a, uh, DM me on my Instagram. It's called Who the Reekin, no caps, W H O D A R I C A N. Uh, like I said, hit me up. Uh, I'm going to Job Corps on the 27th of August. So, I have like less than one week to go. And I think I'm going to enjoy it because it's not. You know, it's not bad, except that one thing where I can't bring my own TV and play my game in my dorm. With other niggas up to 8 to 12, like, come on, bro. And somebody want their privacy, bro. You know what I'm saying? They can't even beat their meat in the room, bro. <laughs> I was just playing, but I don't about to do that no more. That's not getting old. But, like, look, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Um, Subscribe to my channel if you're new. Share this video with your friends or family. Devin, I don't took that from you. I'm just playing. But like, share the friends with your, uh, share the video with your people who want to watch the, uh, more information about Job Corps. Cause I just gave it a top packet. My, my instructor, she just sent me the packet. Cause I did my orientation on the phone with her. And I passed it. So. Woo! My, my feet, boy. Yeah. I'm going to the one in Savannah, Georgia. I was going to the one in, uh, what was it, uh, Albany. But they messed my paper up, so my feet hurt. But, yeah, like I said, my feet is, is dead, bro. And that, that jaw hurt. Like, you know, you know how, like, you leave your feet still for a couple minutes? Like, it just start to fall asleep. And it feel, like, static going through your leg. And if you move it, it just, like. Tickle so much, like, when you can't move it. So, yeah, that's what happened. So, like I said, like the video, share the video, and like the video if you're new. And also, subscribe right now. Hit that big red subscribe button for me if you're new. And, um, uh, yeah. Peace out, BTS.